What are you doing guys and welcome to Crystal Screw. Today I'm going to show you how to get online from 4.50 ITI downgraded to 355 but back upgraded to 4.70 Rebuck D-Rex if I'm correct. Let me quickly check. Yeah, Rebuck D-Rex P3 up there. Anyway, so what we need is a USB um, a PS3 obviously, a jailbroken PS3 and some downloads. I'll leave that all the downloads you will need in the description. First of all, what you need to do is take a USB and obviously plug it into your PS3 and I just unplugged it because I closed the message. But anyway, the USB should show up in just a second. If not, then I just ruined the tutorial already. <laughs> okay, just plug it in. There it is, open up folder. Now this is really important, ignore all the methods here, it's just some w weird shit I just left here. Um, but what you need to do is, if you don't have a full creator yet, that's called PS3, kept the letters creator inside that folder, obviously ignore all the shit, it's just all the firmwares and all the important shit that I need from my PS3. Ignore all of it, just uh, inside the PS3 folder, create another folder called update, uh, all, also capital letters, and then inside this folder it should be empty, but already drag and drop in the PS3 downgrade for DEX, uh, ignore if it's not in there. What you need to do is basically download the downgrader, drag it into this folder, and then rename it to PS3 update.pup as I'm doing right now. Once you've done that, obviously close this out, because what we're going to do is now go to all PS3, so let me quickly safely eject uh, this to avoid corrupt the data, as you can see eject mass storage and safe to remove your hardware so we're gonna unplug this and I'll see you guys on my PS3 okay so right now I'm at my PS3 what you gotta do is plug in your USB to the most right slot of your PS3 and then I'm quickly gonna show you that I am on 4.50 ITA spoofed to 4.70 if I can find system settings there it is system information as you can see it's poof it's 4.70 but I'm actually on 4.50 ITA however once you've done that be sure that you plug in that USB stick what I told you earlier then go to system update and then go to update via storage media it's gonna scan the 355 downgrade right now what you gotta do is just press X and then let it run now it's gonna take a little long so what I'm gonna do is just end the recording here and I'll see you guys back on my PC afterwards this is installed so I can actually just shorten this video and keep it really short. Okay now what you gotta do is plug in USB C again and head over back to the update folder and then drag and drop in the rebug uh, 4.70 DRX update POP in your update folder and before you're gonna eject your USB C be sure to rename it to PS3 update.pup and also what you could do is Earlier you had your downgraded or PUP file and what I usually do is right click it, copy it and then go to the PS3 folder and then put in all my firmware. As you can see, here's the Rebuck 4.70 downgrader, here's the Rebuck Kex downgrader, here's the Dex downgrader. Awesome for all a shit ton of firmware is what I just keep here. So whenever I need to switch firmware to do a tutorial, I'll quickly get them here. And I just go to the folder, just copy paste them, which is a lot quicker than just downloading them every time from the internet. I just keep it as a back there. Now obviously once you renamed your Rebook um Dex down um Rebook 4.70 D-Rex, exit out this and safely check the USB out of your PC because we want to avoid the corrupted data. So we just injected that. LC PS3 now. Okay, so now once at your PS3, obviously, we'll quickly show you that I am 3.55. And as you can see, system information and version 3.55. So now what we're gonna do is plug in our USB stick on the most right slot as we did earlier, and then head over to system update and then update via storage media. Now I'm obviously gonna skip this part because it's just gonna take way too long. So if you show this, just quick press on X for uh, installing the update 4.70.1 D-Rex and then just let it install it won't take that long if it takes longer don't worry about it but as you can see it's copying over very clearly now I'm gonna skip this part and I'm gonna be back at you guys once I'm on 4.70 fully installed on the Rebook firmware okay so right now we should be on Rebook 4.70 D-Rex and I'm quickly gonna check if we are on Rebook firmware and we should immediately notice it as you can see on screen because of the red PSN network logo and everything that should be blue is now red as you can see the PlayStation Store since this was red I guess but as you can see it's a massive change and also you might notice it, it's now a circle instead of the weird thing. Uh, it shows or it indicates that we're in the latest firmware. room now. Quickly going to sign into my PSN account and we should be able to sign in without any issues. Let the wait begin. Bum, ba, dum. Are we going to be signed in? Yes we are. So as you can see we're now signing in the latest firmware. 
and the maximum fr number of friends that the peach weed need to reach. Okay, well, all right. Well, it's possible if you have so many friend requests. But anyway, this was the tutorial, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, be sure to give it a thumbs up if it helped you out. Definitely like and subscribe. I'm gonna be uploading some more morning tutorials in the next coming days because I have so much time left. Now, with that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed it. This was Chris Rule. Oh, and before I forget to say, or actually show what we, I'll show you that we are on 4.70. As you can see, we are back on 4.70, but on a reboot film. Now, with that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed it. This was Chris Rule, and I'm out.